Hello everyone, today I am going to show you the best settings for OBS, the newest ones, and this is going to allow you to record nice and smooth, 1080p or 720, whatever your computer can handle. First, you want to go to settings and click that. Um, I'll show you how to stream settings afterwards, but first we'll just do output for recording. So you want to go to output and recording. Um, you want to have your encoder as the times to 64 encoder. Uh, rescale your output to 1080. That's so if you're doing like 720, then it will, you know, rescale your output to 1080. Uh, down here, this is the options you'll get for the 264 encoding. This is where pretty much everything is being decided. Uh, use CBR for your rate control, your bit rate. This is one of the most important options right here. Um, 5,000 is good to start with, and 5,000 is for a good to really good computer. Um, you can go 5,000, 7,500, 10,000 for better computers, and for not so good computers, you go down to uh, 3,000, 2,500. Um, so higher number better computers and lower number for uh, not so good computers uh, You can use the custom buffer size. I don't really know what difference that makes but here is the other Option that's gonna make the biggest difference It comes default on very fast and that's where I like it But if you're having problems recording and it's stuttering and it's not smooth then I would recommend turning that to super fast possibly even ultra fast and that will fix your laggy recording um, that being said that is pretty much everything that needs to be changed here audio is always nice to uh, it's always nice to have good audio as well so I'm just doing it at 160 right now but it's good to do it at like 240 bit rate change that in here um, this is the last setting you'll really need to change here in video. Uh, your base canvas, make sure that's 1080. Output scaled. Now, this is again, if you have a good computer with a good graphics card, you can do 1920 by 1080, and you can change your frame rates to 60. Um, or you can do 720 and change your frame rates to 60. Or you can do 1080 and try to change it to 30 or 720 and 30. That's where it takes a little bit of experimenting to see what your computer can handle best. Uh, I usually do 720, 60 frames per second, but I'm not doing anything but just a desktop right now. So I'm doing 1080 at 30 frames per second. And that's going to allow everything to run fine. Um, one more thing you can change here in the advanced settings is your process priority where you can change the priority that uh, OBS will get in your processes. So um, if you're running other programs, you can set it to high, and that will make sure that OBS is always getting the most of your CPU usage, most of your GPU usage. Um, that's pretty much it for recording and it covers half of streaming. I'll show you quickly how to set stream settings if you're curious for that as well. Uh, you just want to go to stream and streaming services. Uh, choose Twitch or YouTube, I mean whatever you like to uh, stream with. And here is your stream key. This is like your encoder key or your stream key that you get from YouTube when you want to go live or Twitch when you want to go live. Uh, you put that key right here, and that's going to allow you to turn your stream on to live output. You can also change your streaming settings for your output, and that's pretty much the same as what I showed you for recording. Um, use what I told you in this video, and you will definitely get some smooth video, uh, high quality. If you have any questions, feel free, leave them in the comments, and I will definitely help you out. Thank you for watching, and please leave a like. Thank you.